One of the reasons I wanted to learn guitar was seeing Marty McFly dance across that stage playing something that looked like this. But if I wanted the real guitar that he was playing in Back to the Future, I'd have to sell all my other guitars just to afford one. And that's not gonna happen. So I came across one of these Groat guitars in a local music store for a hundred dollars. I mean, even brand new on Amazon, they're like 179, 180, uh, but I got it for a hundred and I just upgraded the tailpiece today to this guitar fetish X trim. So what that means, it's, it's floating. It just sits there. Uh, and so all, the only modification I had to do uh, was put this strap pin. I had to unscrew it and I really kind of, it was a tiny screw. So I wanted to put in uh, one that was a little more robust. So I had to find a different screw and I had to find a washer and that's it. That's the only modification that it took. Uh, of course you have to take the, the stop bar tailpiece out and you could leave the screws, but I uh, think it looks better without them. But it was super easy. It took a couple of minutes that was it to install it. Let's see how it sounds. Now, a few things about this tailpiece, it, it's a little boxy. It's a little bulkier, has a larger profile. You can see there's not much, uh, terribly much arch on this guitar. So the strings wind up being kind of flat on this particular model, but it still works. Now you're gonna have some extra resonance that you're not used to. If you're not used to, like if, if your guitar had a stop bar instead of one of the trapeze tailpieces, you might not be used to the extra resonance. Those strings will will ring out whenever you're playing it. You can kind of hear a little bit of extra. What is doing it there? It's it's ringing just a little bit. It's it's. I don't think it's a flaw in the product. It's just the nature of having all this extra room back here. Now you can get little rubber pieces. You can put a shoelace in there if that bugs you. Uh, I think it just adds to the, the character and the charm and the resonance of the whole thing. So it doesn't bother me. Now, in installing it, one mistake I made was this uh, piece here was very loose. It wouldn't stay in place. And so uh, there is a screw underneath. You need to tighten that before you put it on because I had to loosen all the strings once I got it on. And um, it comes with two different springs. Um, I really don't, I have the thicker one on here. I don't know what the smaller one is for because these are nine gauge strings and it, it kind of was a lot lower with that smaller spring in there. So I use uh, the thicker spring and make sure to tighten that, that screw that's, that's underneath before you even start this. Now mine did not come with any felt underneath. I couldn't find that in the packaging. So you might want to, if you're going to buy one of these, you might want to look into that. I, I mean, this is a hundred dollar guitar. If it gets a little scratched from the, I mean, I'm probably never taking this off. So, um, it doesn't bother me that there's no felt underneath, but just know that if you're going to put it on a Gibson or something, you might want to find some sticky felt to go underneath or cut some cloth or something. Other than that, the guitar stays in tune. You got, you can do the light Bigsby kind of vibrato. You can, you can get a pretty good dive out of it. I mean, it's not, you know, and it, it kind of returns to tune pretty well. 
after all that. You know, it's not a flowing rose. I don't know what you're looking for out of this, but that subtle vibrato, and it will go both ways. Um, and so it's just really nice for jazzy chords to add a little bit of effect in there. Um, a little bit out of tune, but I've been bending it a lot. It's a little bit more than you might be used to. You might want to upgrade to a roller bridge to help it stay in tune. Put some graphite up here, uh, pencil lead to help lubricate that so the strings move more easily and it stays in tune better. But otherwise, this is a solid $50 product that I think upgrades uh, a good cheap guitar like this uh, and puts you into more fun, quirky territory with a nice 335 style guitar. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Have fun. Keep playing.